and welcome back to my channel. Maybe you're wondering, how do I accessorize a neutral set of nails without losing that touch of classiness? Well, in today's video, I am going to give you a few tips and tricks so you don't lose your style, but you don't lose that classic touch. Come with me and let's create art together. Mwah. Before we begin, I want to share with you the poly gel kit that I am going to be using in today's video. Lately, I've been obsessed with poly gel and I've been experimenting in my free time and I ended up coming up with this design that I'm going to show you which I think came out really cute. As you can see, I am removing the shine from the natural nails. This step is crucial to prevent your nails from lifting. I know I repeat this constantly in my videos but I promise you it's for your own good. If you're having issues with lifting, try getting closer to the cuticle area during this process, but just be very careful so that you don't cut yourself or your client. With a soft brush, we're going to clean the excess dust. My advice is that the softer it is, the better because it promotes a relaxing sensation. If you're still having lifting issues after getting pretty close to the cuticle area with the e-file machine, don't forget to apply a quality primer. This product makes a huge difference. We're going to apply a base coat on all the nails to add more resistance and to avoid product detachment. Try to get as close as you can to the cuticle area, but without touching the skin with the base. However, if you do, don't worry because nobody's perfect, so before curing, you can just clean the excess with a small brush and pure acetone. Thanks to the genius who invented acetone. I really don't know who you are, but thank you very much from all of us. After applying this layer, cure under the lamp for 60 seconds. Before you start working with poly gel, I suggest you pour a little bit of slip solution into another container. Whee! To keep this look as delicate as possible, I suggest applying the soft white as the main color. All the products that I'm using in this video are from the company Savvyland, from which I was able to get you a 20% off discount using Queen20 as a code. If you have seen some of my other videos, you probably already noticed that I use products from this brand constantly since they have a wide variety of products that I enjoy, so it is most likely that the code can be used for all the products as well. In the description box, I am going to add all the information in case you want to take a look and follow this tutorial step by step with the same exact products. I was reading your comments and realized that I was asked to do a poly gel tutorial without the use of dual forms, so ta-da! Here it is! It is super important that you rely on the liquid, the spatula, and the brush to be able to mold the product easily since it is very sticky. You should visualize three areas on the nail the cuticle area, the stress point or apex area which is in the middle of the nail, and finally, the tip of the nail. Try making the product thinner by the cuticle area for a natural result, unless you're looking for a bubblegum finish. No joke, it really does exist and it was actually trending for a little while. Can you believe that? For the apex area, the product should be thicker to prevent the nails from cracking especially because it is extremely painful due to the amount of nerves that we have in our fingers. Lastly, on the tip of the nail, the product should consist of more or less between half the thickness of the cuticle area and the apex. For this nail, I decided to choose a gold glitter because I think it's a beautiful and elegant color at the same time. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments if you like this color or if you have any other suggestions. Now that you know how to balance the product correctly, comes the challenge of applying glitter poly gel. Yes, so due to the particles in the product, it requires a little more experience but it's easier than you think. If you're a beginner, this may all sound like a really complicated equation, but remember that everything is achieved with patience and practice. Moving on to the index fingernail, my relationship with the color black is interesting because it's too harsh for my taste, but I think that if you use it correctly, it can actually give you a great result. Of course, everything is according to the taste and style of each person. 
But on this occasion, I could not resist it because it is translucent and it has golden iridescent glitter in it and it is literally perfect to accentuate a second nail. Everything is a matter of balance, both with the colors and with the application of the product. Because if you have noticed, during this entire video, I've used the same technique to apply the different polygels. You see, it's easy. After curing for 60 seconds to set the product, let's apply a little bit of 99% alcohol to remove oils and impurities, and also to maintain a sterile work environment. With the convenient help of a good e-file machine, let's remove the excess from the nails. This tool for me is essential because it works efficiently and precisely. Also, it is crucial to use a professional hand file in order to create the desired shape on the nails. A piece of advice I would like to share with you is that when applying the product, try to shape it well on the sides, exposing the excess of the nail that you're going to file off so you don't waste a product unnecessarily. Another tip is that if your nails grow downwards like mine do, and you want to achieve a more even look, you can leave the product a little thicker on the tip to modify the shape at the time of filing. After removing the excess dust, it's time to implement a feminine and delicate touch. So for this, I suggest to use a gold gel liner. Try to outline the tip of the white nails. I personally like the line to be super thin, but you can do it according to your own style. After curing the gel polish under the lamp, this is the part where you can get creative and have fun. Let your own style shine by applying crystals and decorations to match your personality. There is no right or wrong in this. I would just suggest not to overdo it to still keep a classic look. This nail set was completely improvised. And at the last minute, I had the idea to apply a really cute bow that I've had in my nail goodies for many years. If you want to add this type of decoration to your nails, I suggest you apply a generous amount of glue and a little bit of clear acrylic on top of it. Apply your decoration, let it dry for a minute or so, and then don't forget to seal the edges well to keep everything in place. To give your nails a glossy look, I suggest you apply a layer of the gel top coat that is part of the kit. With a fine brush, try to get into those difficult spots for a more precise and professional finish. The small details are always the ones that make the big difference. To finish off, cure this layer under the lamp again for 60 seconds. And after curing, apply nourishing and delicious smelling cuticle oil. And this, my loves, is the final product. So beautiful. Time to be a princess and show off your gorgeous nails. I hope you feel inspired by this look, and if you decide to recreate it, don't forget to share your artwork with me. And as always, may God bless you and issue. I hope to see you very soon. Bye!